I'm here tonight with Patty Ann Brown, Fox News Channel anchor. If beauty and brains were whiskers, I'd wake up with her on my face. Bill Schultz, he is my grotesque sidekick. Joining us from our... Patty Ann, at times during the speech, people actually cheered. What was that about? Not just cheered. I mean, it was uproarious applause. Yeah. I, I couldn't believe it. I, I, I mean, the only answer to that is that they're just so naive. Mm -hmm. I mean, he started talking about beauty and kindness <laughs> and peace and all this. Yeah. And I really do think that these students there believe that we could all just get along if everybody just had a hug. Exactly. It further proved to me that anybody under the age of 18 should not be allowed to speak. Well, e either way, Greg, I think Patty Ann is on record here as being against beauty, kindness, and peace. <laughs> if, you wanna, if you wanna throw that on the table, all right, <laughs> but. <laughs> Kevin, the, the Columbia's, Patty Ann, some of our officers say Blackwater's actions are undermining Iraqi trust in American forces since they don't distinguish between our military and private contractors. This can't be good. No, absolutely not. I mean, I think it would help if they kept maybe a lower profile, yeah, that's you know, yeah. Kevin. But they're like they're out there really apparently yeah. putting on a show, like they're mm. in their helicopters riding really low mm. with the doors open and their guns out. I mean, yeah. I don't really think it's as much about security sometimes as is like, here's my penis, see how big it is. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's a really good point. I, come on, <laughs> that's a, I'm, wait, th this is the problem so much when it clearly offers better lives for people and better looking breasts Greg uh, and I mean look if you're waiting in line for tissue paper or bread you might as well be stacked when you're doing it so <laughs> this makes absolutely no sense whatsoever yeah. hmm, I didn't think of it that way well you never do strange dynamic there Bill yes Patty and should people be allowed to make decisions about their body well I, you know, when they're 15, I don't know. You know, when I was 15, all I got was a stupid bike. Thanks, Mom. But I don't know. Amy, you had nothing to worry about. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Thank you. I'll second you know, I'm just you're, speaking you're, the you're, truth. You always have to do this, don't you, Billy? Yes. It was a compliment. Uh, it was a compliment. Kevin, if you're looking, but 15 is just it wrong. Is yeah. 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 Just wrong. The point. You want him real anymore? Exactly. Yeah. There's nothing better than a real breast. But, no, I... I Patty Ann, what's the problem here? Isn't this just part of having that home field advantage? Well, absolutely. I mean, I cannot believe the NFL is actually banning this. But, I mean, my question is, coaches, don't they get paid a lot of money? I mean, and I'm picturing them scouring the films and trying to come up with these brilliant plays. And which coach came up with, I've got it. We'll just have them shake their booty in front of the other team. Then we'll definitely win the game. I mean, exactly. tell me it wasn't the Jets. Exactly. Why don't they do that during golf? Bill, shouldn't players be able to control themselves? But, Patty Ann, don't you think the web has turned people into antisocial workers? Worms, only out for their own easy self-gratification. Well, you say that like it's a bad thing, right? <laughs> yeah. I was describing my life. <laughs> no, seriously. I mean, if you're smart, you know, the two don't have to be you know, mutually exclusive. Oh, Sex really? and the Internet. You combine them. It's yeah. much better than actually, you know, interacting with human beings. That's what webcams are for. <laughs> exactly. 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 Uh Uh, Greg, you asked Patty Ann why people cheered at various points during Ajad's speech. It's easy. Those people believe George Bush is the enemy, and the enemy of my enemy is my friend. Mm. Uh, Patty Ann Brown, Fox News Channel anchor. If beauty were potpourri, I'd stick her in my smelly drawers. Earthquake! A new study by the Gay and Lesbian Alliance Against Defamation finds the number of gay characters on TV is falling on network series. GLAAD says this year's broadcast series will feature seven regularly seen characters who are gay, lesbian, bisexual, or transgender. This is down from a whopping nine characters in 2006 and ten the season before. Patty Ann, why do you think this is happening? Yeah, it is an incredible <laughs> trajectory there, exactly, downward, exactly. downward, actually. Um, you know, they, they're just only talking about the broadcast networks, and in reality, they're saying that actually in cable, mm -hmm. it's dramatically up. So on balance, it sounds like there were really more of these characters. It's yeah. true. And, and, you know, Bill, Glad says the number of gays on cable shows is actually rising up to 40 this year. How much credit do you take for that? Yeah. Uh, a lot. <laughs> and to, the, to the point where, like, next time I go in for my raise, if they don't give me one, I'm going to file for a discriminatory lawsuit. <laughs> I think. Yeah. But I would, I would all the, like, you know, Mark Foley and Larry Craig and, of course, Brit Hume. <laughs> our most, don't even are, joke about things what? like that. I'm just saying he's You're a great fired. dresser. No, okay. <laughs> Allison, out of this... Probably best I shut up. <laughs> Except Patty Ann Brown, does this make this... Is this, is, is this going to hurt his career, or does anybody care at this point? Mm. Oh, I think, if anything, it could help it. But, I mean, I just yeah. don't understand the whole thing at all. I mean, first of all, the woman's lawyered up, and she's backing way yeah. off now, says it might not have happened at all, and the pictures might be fake. But, I mean, honestly, if a woman... If a man wants to be dominated, all he has to do is get married. <laughs> you know, no, that's right. Well, so that's true. And he's married, so... You just you know? spoke the truth, young lady. Spoke the truth. We must move on. Speaking. Yeah, hello. Hello. 
Hej, vet du? Niklas. Hej Niklas, vad du för svar till mig? In... Eh, tull. This is why live TV rules. A Swedish TV game pre show presenter asks a caller to solve a word puzzle, then turns her head to the side and vomits. Eva Nazimson blames the incident on period pains, saying that at first she was worried about what people would think, but then thought, well, everybody needs to spew sometimes. Obviously, she's a fan of Countdown. And now, let's answer your letter. Uh, Patty Ann, last week, Allison Camarado was on and told us that her office mate, Rebecca Gomez, steals her clothes. Who's your office mate? And tell us a good story about her. Uh, it's Bill McCuddy, actually. And he Can you tell us a good story about her? clothes, especially the high heels, you know. I, actually, I don't think I was supposed to say that on the air. Uh, excuse me. Oh. <laughs> did, Patty Ann, this is, Patty Ann, this is rehearsal. Say whatever you want. <laughs> This will never see air. Oh, uh, no, no, no. Good. Thank God. Okay. All over my new chinos. Yeah. All right. No, it's the other way, Bill. Does he steal your unmentionables as well? Uh, well, that's why they're called unmentionables. I'm not going there. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> uh, cool. Thanks to Patty Ann Brown, the lovely Patty Ann Brown, and the lovely Kevin Godlington, and the lovely Bill Schultz. That does it for me. I'm lovely Greg Gutfeld.